Hey guys, what is up? Tim here, and today I'm going to show you how to run um, Fedora, which is basically a Unix-based operating system, uh, virtually with a virtual box uh, called Parallels. Now, first, uh, I, basically what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to download Parallels, you're going to have to buy Parallels, or I mean, you can find it somewhere on the internet, but I would definitely recommend buying it because it, you, can, you can get all the updates and stuff, and it's really just just such a great software that I really would want to help out the developers, and uh, it would be, it'd be great if you guys bought it. Um, so you're going to open up Parallels, and it should take a second because I am screen capping, um, but it's going to open up Parallels Desktop, and uh, you just kind of, if you don't already have a virtual box set up, it'll prompt you with this screen, but if you don't, um, then you can go to Plus, and it'll, then it'll prompt you with this screen, which then you can just simply go over to Download Fedora, click on that, click Continue. Virtual appliance, size 8.1 gigabytes, RPM based general purpose collection of software. It has a Linux based kernel, uh, which is really nice, and but it is a Unix based operating system. Now you can go over here to download. And this is the part that's going to take a very long time. So I'm just going to see you guys when the download finishes. For me, it should take, it says 27 minutes. So it should be a little quicker than that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. For now, I'll see you guys when it stops. All right, so now Fedora has just finished downloading and now it is unarchiving the file. This will take a second. And if you guys didn't know, this is a Fedora Linux 15. Um, like I said, it's Unix based, which means it is not open source. Um, but I actually, um, for Linux, I would definitely uh, recommend Ubuntu over Fedora. But if you really want Fedora, I guess you can follow along with this tutorial. Um, but Ubuntu is just, in my opinion, a much better solution. So once this finishes unarchiving, I will see you guys uh, in a second, I guess. All right. So after so after some password issues, I am back and I fin finally figured out what I was doing wrong. And here we go. I'm gonna try to type it in, type in the passwords without failing. Okay. Log in. W E Z. One, two, three, four. Alrighty, so after some password issues, I am back and I have finally gotten it to work. Uh, the passwords on this uh, OS are actually pretty annoying. Um, they won't let you match any characters and they won't let you. Um, uh, uh, do repeating characters. Um, so that was pretty annoying. Okay, so it was gl glitching out for a second there, but now it is loading back up. Give it a second. And it should be good relatively soon. And as you guys can see, it is loading up, but it does not look good right now. And I cannot figure out why. And we're going to just restart the program. I've seen people have problems with this before, like I'm having right now. And we're going to just restart it, and it should be fine. Now, if you do have any problems, um, <clears throat> like I'm having right now, make sure you leave it in the comment section below. Before you do that, just try to restart your virtual box, because that's usually the issue. There's sometimes an error with whatever Parallels does. Um, and I'm going to log in. And from there, you can go view full screen. And there is Fedora. Looks very, very nice. I do love Fedora quite a bit. You can see you've got all your browsing applications and Firefox, and it is just a very, very cool operating system. I really do love it. Um, yeah, it's just one of my favorites of all time. Obviously, like I said before, I would definitely recommend Ubuntu over Fedora, but if you're more of a coder, this is probably more for you because it is just so simply awesome. <laughs> so uh, if you guys uh, want to do this, obviously you're going to need Parallels 7 or 6 or whatever. Um, you can get it from like Staples or something like that, but um, I'm sure you could pick it up somewhere. And if uh, worse comes to worse, I'm sure you could find it online somewhere. 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial on how to run Fedora on Mac OS X. And uh, that's pretty much it for today, guys. This is Tim, and I'm out. Peace.